Hi there, once again, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this amazing golden text effect using Photoshop. I'm going to show you how to create everything step by step. Remember, you need to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content. So I'm going to show you how you can create this golden text effect. Watch this video to the end and remember to hit the like button and stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do it in a bit so let's jump to we're going to start i'm going to go to file and i'm going to new i'm going to new, i'm going to set up my background or the size of what i'm going to create so i'm going to send 32 inches and the width is going to be 20 and my height is going to be 10 as you can see my resolution i'm going to decrease my resolution to somewhere around 300 so my resolution is going to be around 300 and every other thing is going to be as it is. So I'm not going to change anything. So I'm going to click on what create. Okay. So this is what I have. This is my background. I'm going to work with. The next thing we're going to do is to change our background to black. You can see our main work. The, the bar, main background is dark. So we need to also change this background to dark. To do that, we'll go to edit menu. And then go to fill. And then we have content within the content you set you select what black and make sure your mood and your opacity are normal and 100 respectively so you set it that way and then you click on ok so your background is now what dark the next thing we're going to do is to type in our text so to do that we're going to use the type tool we use the type tool as horizontal type to click on that and I'm going to set the properties the properties at the top of it. i'm going to use the impact font and i'm going to leave it at regular and i'm going to select a font size of 72 point the sharpness i'm going to set i'm going to leave it as sharp and then alignment and everything is going to be at this but i'm going to change the color to what white so that when i i'm typing you can see exactly what i'm going to do i'm selecting this and change the color to white I'm going to click on my layer and then I cannot type. So I'm going to type golden this way. And this is what I have. And I need to transform this. I need to resize so that at least it can cover over 90% of my screen. So I'll go to edit menu. Remember, you can control T to do that. But because I'm doing it for a beginner, I'll go through everything step by step for you to understand. So I'm going to the edit menu and then go to a transform. And you cannot see the half edges around my text and I can drag. So when I come to the angle down here, edge, I can drag outside and this increase my phone. And I'll drag outside. And if I'm okay with everything, I can either hit enter or just click on this check button over here or this check command. And everything will be selected for me so once this is done the first tool over here is the move tool i can click on that reposition it to wherever i want okay so now we have our text type our golden t our main web over here we have our golden so the next thing we're going to do is that everything is in caps what i have here is in caps we can decide to convert it to caps or leave it as it is uh let's try to convert this at least you know how you can easily convert everything to caps in this tutorial so to do that, I'll select my type tool again, select everything, and then I have my character command over here. If you can't see this, just go to your Windows menu and then make sure your character has been checked and then it will appear over here. So we're going to change everything to caps. So the text options we have over here, you see from the left, the third one is called caps. So when I select this, it's going to change everything to all caps for me. So this is exactly what I want. I've converted everything to caps. And now we can go ahead, we can proceed and then do whatever I want. To do. So I want to keep a copy of this text in case I've made a mistake and can just fall back on that. If you come to the layer option, realize that I have the golden over here. To get additional copy of this, there are several ways of doing it. I can press Ctrl plus J on my keyboard and I'll get a copy or I can just drag this to the down here that's a new layer and then i'm going to get additional copy so i'm going to drag this down here and i'm going to get a copy 
So I'll turn the eye of the main one off and I'm going to work with the copy that I'm having. So now what we need to do is to apply gradient to this particular text. To do that, double click on this gradient in order to get our layer style. Within this layer style, we're going to apply a gradient. So click on gradient overlay. When I click on gradient overlay this way, we need a color that looks like a gold. So we're going to set that color. So I'm going to go to click on the main gradient. I'll click on the main gradient. I'm going to set my own color. So the last far corner here, the first point of our click and then select this color and then change it to something that looks like a gold. Okay, so I can you can pick any color that look more or less like a gold. Yeah. So I'll select this and then the next one to I'll select and then I'll change the color also to something that looks also like a gold. You can get a more color that looks just as a gold like this. And I believe this is okay. This you can actually save this and use it anytime you want. You have the name, you can give you a custom name, you can see say golden. Set it to golden this way, and then we'll click on what? Okay. So actually, we have this text. We have a color that looks like a gold. We can go ahead and then make some few changes to this. I don't want to close this dialog box, the layer style, because the changes we are going to apply now all will be done here. So we're going to do the major work at the bevel and the emboss. So you click on this. Once you check this, we're going to apply the properties over here. So we have the style is going to be inner bevel, but the technique over here, we're going to select what chisel hard. Once you select chisel hard, we can do some few changes to this. We're going to increase the size, we're going to move the size to the right, we're moving the size to the right this way and we see that we are at least getting something which looks like a good let's leave it here for now and then we'll come back to the gloss contour the gloss contour we're going to select from the bottom option we have a chisel icon you will see one looking like a ring ring double we're going to select that one we select that you see everything is now looking more or less like a gold so this is what we're going to use that is the ring, that's the double. Double ring. We've selected that. And like I said, the size, you can just adjust and see what is happening. So I think I'm now okay with this size. Okay. So we're going to increase opacity to somewhere around. Okay, let's move the angle to. We're going to move our angle to 120. We're going to move our angle to 120. And the opacity will go to 75 opacity so you can just try this and see which one is going to work best for you but also that's the opacity for the mode or shadow mode is also going to be 75 that way and we are good to go so we've select all these options and you can go ahead you can do some few adjustments increase the depth as well so we have the depth over here you can increase and see how this is going to look so you can do this few adjustments and see how you want your gold color to appear. If I choose to increase the depth, you could see how this is becoming. This is shining as well. So this is a perfect gold color as you can see. So you can see still be doing your few adjustments to, to see exactly or to get exactly what you want. You have the depth as well, which I'm doing. We have the size. You can increase the size, reduce the size, and you can all have those kind of effects over the shadow mode you can try a few of them and see how this is going to work if you can see multiply you can see yeah so we we'll stick to these options and at least this should be enough to make your work look decent i think i should leave my depth around 170 yeah i think 170 is so light let me just increase the base okay Basically, I've been able to create a golden text effect in this short video tutorial. Remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content. We've been able to create this within a short video tutorial. This is how to do a golden text effect in Photoshop. Remember, the options are there and you can do any adjustment that you want as you want, how you want your go to appear to you, the golden text, how you want it to appear to you can do few adjustments 
and you get exactly what you want thank you so much for enjoying this tutorial so like come your way another time remember to subscribe and turn on the notification button now to get updates anytime we upload a new content bye bye